we've seen 3D modeling has been a big, big uh, uh, growth for the industry. Some manufacturers are still a little shy from that and they don't know how to put that together, but I can tell you that the manufacturers, the leading manufacturers that we work with today are working with 3D uh, printing technology in a couple of different ways. We've already been doing 3D engineering modeling for quite some time. Now they take those models and they'll just print. Sometimes for prototyping, they'll take a look at it, the engineer will test it out as a prototype. Sometimes they'll even put uh, finite uh, analysis uh, uh, pictures to it so it's colored. So the engineers can really take a look at it physically to make sure that you minimize the changes later in the life cycle of the project product because the later on the life cycle you make changes, the more expensive it is going to be for those manufacturers. But I have manufacturers that we work with today that are printing 3D parts directly to be used in an application, so directly to the customer. And that's where mass customization really shines and comes to play. Why? A customer can tell me, here's what I want and it's something unique. An engineer can engineer and test it on a 3D modeling CAD application and just print it out and send it to the customer. No longer complex uh, you know, manufacturing processes that needs all kinds of different materials. And, and more than that, with this technology, our manufacturing customers now can actually deliver some things to the customer that in regular technology today, aren't even, they're not even able to manufacture that. Maybe because of the curve and where the angles are and where the holes are, it's just impossible for traditional manufacturing to do. So no longer we have just uh, you know, uh, mass customization at a much lower time, which what much lower cost. We have the mitigation of risks there, but we also have the delivery of products that's never been available in the market before.